Hey guys, Pitmaster here. We're gonna talk about the UFC this past weekend. I'm here with Vato because this UFC was huge for a lot of reasons. Number one, because Max Holloway fought. Hawaii. And he's from Hawaii. Number two, because Max Holloway fought. <laughs> I'm kidding. It was a good, it was a really good card. L let me go over a couple of things. Why I think certain people did what they did and why they, the outcome came out the way it did. All right, let's talk about, um, I'm talking about Juban and Grant. Close fight, and I don't think it had to be that close, all right? I think that Juban followed Grant around. Yeah, he chased him around. He followed him around, or you could say chased him. But wherever Grant went, he would just go, he like, it was like this. And, and this guy has a better chance of winning because when you're going at a circle, if you go straight back, the guy going back is always losing. But when you're going in a circle like this, that guy can throw punches from that angle, right? And you're like going into his trap. It's like somebody's suckering you into a trap, okay? And Juban did not cut off the cage. So if, if, if Grant was going this way, and Juban was following, Juban just has to take one step. Now Grant can't go this way, because it's like you close the door, and then they have to go out another way. It's like when you're taking a detour, right? If, when you're taking a detour, you're going down the street, they, all of a sudden there's pylons there, you can't go that way, you have to go this way. They're making you go this way. So when, when Juban's following him around, He's, he's just, he's not going to get off on this at all. So he's just like suckering into Grant's, Grant's way. But one step over here, he just made a detour. Now Grant has to go another way, and now it's more Juban's game. And I think that's why it was so close. And that's what I think, that that's the takeaway of that fight. Okay? Cut off. Cut off the cage. So if he's going this way, you step this way. If he's going this way, you step this way. You just keep cutting off the cage, and then pretty soon, he's against the cage, and then you have the upper hand. But when you're just following him around at an angle, you are not winning that fight, and you don't have a good, that's not a good strategy, okay? The other fight I want to talk about is Max Holloway Dixon Poirier. I think that the main thing, this is what I think of the, the, main, the main thing with that fight. Uh, I think Max Holloway did not get the fear or the respect of Dustin Poirier. Poirier. And I'm not saying respect like he's not respectful of him or doesn't respect him as a fighter. That's not what I mean. He didn't get the power. He didn't show Dustin Poirier that he has the power, so Dustin Poirier didn't respect that as much. If you, if you notice, Dustin Poirier just kind of walked through uh, Max Holloway. Yeah. Max Holloway got him against the cage a couple times and threw good combinations, but whenever Dustin Poirier wanted to, he just walked him down because he did not respect his power. Yeah, a couple of times we were just kind of sitting there eating the shots and just kind of taking it. Yeah. Yeah, and, and if you don't respect the power of someone, or even even worse, if you don't sh if you don't make someone respect you, then they're just gonna walk through you. Have you ever seen anyone walk through Tyson without respecting his power? Never happened. Or Foreman, or Johnny Hendricks. There's certain people that show their power. And that makes their game a little bit easier. It makes the fight a little bit easier when someone respects your power. If they don't respect your power, then it makes it for a longer night. Because you, you might still win on points, submission, whatever, and that's all great, but if you make someone respect your power, it makes it a much easier ball game because now there's certain things that they're always gonna be thinking in the back of their head, Oh, if this guy tags me, I'm going to get knocked out. So it changes everything else they do. It changes the way they do takedowns because they're like, I don't want to get hit. It changes the way they throw combinations because they're like, I don't want to get hit. 
So they do everything with a little bit of hesitation. And when you fight a fighter that's hesitating just a little bit, it makes it a better fight for you. What do you think about that? It's true. It's true. true 100% guys. So that's what I think was the difference between Poirier and Max Holloway. It was about the power. Because the skills were really similar. I, I mean, in, 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 they both had like almost equal skills and everything else looked pretty even, but it was all about the power. He should get my left hook course. I am gonna send, okay. I'm gonna send Max Holloway my left hook course. No brainer. That's what I'm gonna do. You're gonna get my, Mac, my, my left hook course. You, Max can get, you can guys get the same course too. Anyone gets that left hook course, nobody will ever not respect your power. Nobody, I guarantee you. If you get my course, you will have the po knockout power that will get the respect. A little bit easier, guys. If you do hit somebody in the street and doesn't phase them, they're gonna laugh at you and they're gonna still come at you. Oh shit, that's a nightmare. <laughs> so take my course, guys, and it'll never happen. Thanks for coming.